right, I've got Hani Amir from Tive, Director of Sales. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Nice to be here. Hani, tell us why did you decide to attend one of these events and what value do you see in it? Well, I have been wanting to attend an event for some time. Obviously, COVID got in the way. Um, I found out that I used to work for the same company that Lawrence did, okay, so we yes, have some ties. <laughs> it is a very small world. But also, uh, we are in uh, expansion mode here in this uh, part of the world. We have some new products that we're going to be releasing to the market, as well as existing products that are already released to market. And we think uh, uh, your medium is a great way to be able to uh, broadcast that. Yeah. Just for the sake of the viewers, could you please explain what Tive is and, and what, what is it that you specialize in? Yeah, great question. It, we're a real-time uh, tracking, uh, visibility tracking and condition monitoring company. What does that mean? We produce a uh, tracker and that tracker accompanies high value goods, perishable goods, uh, highly sensitive goods, yep. highly secure goods uh, through their journey uh, through the supply chain. And we monitor in real time location and also conditions. Yep. Now, honey, you did explain you're about to launch some new products in a few weeks' time. Tell us why. Um, I can't tell you. You can't tell us? <laughs> no. Why, please what ask. is the need for those new products, especially for the last two to three years of COVID? Has that yeah. escalated things for visibility and tracking? Without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you see it through your, your members and your stakeholders. Visibility has become even more of an intense need in the supply chain because of the disruption and the uh, the lack of schedule integrity and the delays and COVID and people and yeah. so supply chains are fully disrupted uh, it's like I say a, a desperate must have not a nice to have anymore yeah. and so we've seen tremendous growth and demand yeah. for visibility and our new products that we're bringing to market are going to, we believe, make it even more accessible. So they're going to be at a price point that customers can scale at high volume yep. and at a lower price point than our current products are. The company was established in Boston, the US. Correct. United States. Tell us, um, how do you how do you adjust your customers' needs here in Australia, and how do you specifically design those products to our climate and to our expectations? Yeah, it's a great question. So, there's one aspect that is uniform globally, and that is visibility. Whether the product is in Australia or the US or Croatia, even um, our uh, devices, our trackers operate on a global roaming. So, whether it be Domestic, um, we use the Telstra network. Uh, globally, we roam on whichever network gives us the best connectivity. Uh, and then we focus on particular segments. So here in Australia, obviously agricultural, perishable food products are, are big. Um, but we focus a lot on uh, freight forwarders, logistics companies, truckers, uh, 3PLs big part of our, our business and so um, there is a global yet local feel. Yeah, well you've come through the right place in Export TV for that logistics and freight forwarding and transport industry visibility so in safe hands. So thank you. Thank really you. lovely to meet you in person. Likewise and thank you for having me. Thank